Hey, you don't hear? Okay, well, the day has finally come. My little backsplash that I made uh, for behind my little vanity sink in the bathroom, my new vanity and new sink, needs to go in. It's finally dried. It's been <laughs> lost track. It's been dry for a while now, a month at least. I didn't think it was going to dry. I did it in the summer in August, I believe it was, and this is November. But uh, finally, the backside, of course, hasn't been done. It's just going to be glued up to the wall. I blew that off a minute ago, but I think I need to blow it off again. But I don't need to. Uh, good. I was wondering if I needed to sand on it or anything. I just blow it off. Looks like there's a little something right there. A little bit of this. Oh, it's a little of this plastic. This plastic is an old shower curtain, and it uh, didn't. Didn't stand up too well, but that's fine. I can throw it away. I thought I'd get more, several uses out of it. Well, I'll probably keep it until it's just not worth anything anymore. But uh, this was my test piece. I tried brushing it first, and it, it showed the brush strokes really bad. So I finally sprayed it. And uh, with this, uh, what I used here is uh, a Seahawk gel coat. This is a Snow White. And uh, of course, you normally associate that with boats, but this is the exact same chemical, the type that they generally use on uh, um, culture marble. That's what that is. That's a piece of culture marble. It was a scrap that I got from a guy that uh, he knew years ago. I have a few others, but uh, and you have to buy this styrene thinner to thin it so you can spray it. So that. Seahawk was 26 or 20, 26 dollars and something, maybe some tax. This was 21 dollars or something, and of course the acetone. You can clean with acetone, but they say don't. Everywhere you read, they say it's not a good idea to thin it with acetone because of the chemical makeup that it is. Years ago, they say they used, it used to be a little different, and you could do it more. And of course, the brand makes all the difference. That's my little water filter. Definitely helped a lot because. I've sprayed different things over the years with that gun and I never had a water filter and I always had trouble with depending on the temperature and all that you know whether or not I'd get water in my tank I don't have a big compressor I just have this little old 80's or maybe even late 70's Craftsman 3 quarter horsepower and a portable air tank but you can turn it upside down and get the water out but then depending on the temperatures and everything you know it may come right back while you're working I made me a spray booth out of a box, and this part turned out pretty good. Um, made another box to make a, a stand for. I, I, I might do that again. Uh, well, I might do that again. I have a the old sink. I might go ahead and use what's left of that to spray it. I don't know. We'll see. What I'd really like to do is use it on the roof of my blazer. I can't see that with me going around here. The blazer has a fiberglass roof in the back half there. Right there where that divide from there back, that's fiberglass. And of course since 1976 it has never been redone. So, uh, but that wouldn't be enough because I've already used, I was shaking it. I think I've used maybe a good uh, two, there's, there's a half to two thirds left, that's what I'm trying to say. It wouldn't be enough for that, but anyway, and I don't know. I generally, the reason I don't get things done is because my health is up and down all the time, so I never know what I'll be able to do. But let's try to get this done, and I'll try to make a couple more reports as I, you know, inside the house and stuff as I get it, get it in there and stuff. All right, bye.